Let's talk about PWM, pulse width modulation. We're going to find our average current, average power, and our RMS current. So here's our first pulse here. It's uh, 5 volts into a 5 ohm load. And so the max current is going to be 1 amp. Now the time is going to be the same amount of time on is off is 50% duty cycle. So to find our average current, we use this, this formula over here. The uh, I average is going to be uh, the current in T1 here, this time here, times the time, plus the current over here times the time. Now if this was a square wave, we would actually have some current there actually that would be going in the opposite direction, but we could add that in. For us it's going to be zero here. And then we divide it by the total amount of time. So we have uh, 1 amp times our 2 times 10 to the minus 4 seconds. This doesn't count over on this side. So we have 2 times 10 to the minus 4 plus the uh, 2 times 10 to the minus 4 seconds. That comes out to uh, 4 times 10 to the minus 4. And this up here is uh, 2 times 10 to the minus 4 amps per second. So we divide that out. And it comes out to half an amp or 0.5 amps. So that makes sense. We've got, uh, you know, half the time it's uh, at an amp and the other half the time it's, it's at zero. So it, the average is going to be uh, five, uh, uh, 0.5 amps. What's our average power? So average power is equal to the energy times the time in this cycle plus the energy times the time over here. First, it's going to be zero. Of course, if this was a square wave, we'd add that in. And then we divide by the uh, total amount of time here. So the energy is equal to the uh, current squared times the resistance times the time. So down here we have uh, the current in T1 is going to be 1 amp squared times resistance times this time here. So uh, 1 squared, of course, that's going to be 1. We've got our 5 volts here, or our 5 ohms here, excuse me, times our time. And that's 0 0.002 seconds. So that comes out to 0 0.001. Okay. And we divide that by the total amount of time here. The 4 times 10 to the minus 4. That's 0 0.0004. We divide that out. It's uh, 2.5 watts. So that's our average watch. What's our, our current? So the RMS current is the I RMS is equal to the, the power. Average power divided by the resistance. And we take the square root of that. So we have uh, 2.5 watts divided by our 5 ohms. That's 0.5 amps. And we divide, we take the square root of that. So that's 0 0.707. So you note that the, um, the RMS current is higher than the average current. And that's true for most types of uh, varying currents. So our, our RMS value is higher. When we calculate this, the wattage of this resistor, what we need here, we're going to use this, uh, the RMS value here. That's the amount of, uh, uh, it's related to the amount of heat. Uh, it has the same uh, heating effect as a DC current does. So we'll use this value when we calculate the, uh, the resistance. So uh, that's it. Thank you.